Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? This is your girl, Jay, coming at you with a quick video. What's up, y'all? Hey, look, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, This video, I don't know where it's going to go, y'all. I'm going to be honest. This is probably going to be one of the most controversial videos I've ever done. But this thing has been on my mind, and I feel like there's a reason why. So I'm going to go ahead and speak on it. And hopefully, I just pray that whomever is watching this video, first things first, I want to pray that you're having a wonderful day. But I also want to pray that you're able to have an open mind with what I'm saying. Um, and that you allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you in whatever necessary, 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 necessary capacity that is needed when it comes to this topic. Um, so, recently... Uh, I mean, when I say recently, like within the last two days, there was a post that was made by Bethel Church in California, and I'm just going to let y'all see it here. And y'all, when I say this post has been blowing up, I've seen comments after comments on it. I've seen distaste for it. I've seen a lot of things. But I feel the need to speak on it for various reasons. So before I even go into it, look, this is going to be a heavy video. So I will go ahead and let that be known now. It's probably going to get a lot of controversial messages. People probably are going to look at me and be like, huh, but it doesn't even matter because it's about the Holy Spirit reaching who it needs to reach and expressing and speaking on my testimony and i'm just and this isn't for me to get the glory but this is for god to get the glory and for people to have a better understanding of what's really going on right now so before we get started i do want to go ahead and pray um so yeah everybody by your head close your eyes let's go ahead and pray Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for it today, Lord God. Lord God, as I come here to your people, Lord God, I just want to ask that you allow us to all be able to have an open mind to receive whatever it is that you're trying to say to us, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to fall fresh on all of us, Lord God. And Lord God, as you're allowing me to be a vessel right now, Lord God, I ask that you allow me to remain humble, Lord God, but then also conveying this message exactly how you gave it to me, Lord God, and exactly how um, it's been presented in my life and has been prevalent in my life, Lord God. Lord God, I just ask right now that this become a truth for someone and that everyone is able to see the truth in this lord god and that it just creates freedom amongst people lord god because we do know that once the light shines on the darkness the darkness is there no more lord god so we thank you and we give you the glory honor and praise now father god let this word hit our hearts lord god let it minister to our hearts minds bodies and soul lord god and let us be forever changed after today lord god in the mighty name of jesus i pray all of these things amen all right y'all so let's get right into the video so so <clears throat> for those who know me or who yeah you just know me or whatever um for those of you who may yeah or who may not even know because i know i have family on here now who's probably gonna be a little surprised by this maybe not because you probably already had ideas but you weren't sure we'll go ahead and confirm it for you so um a couple for some years prior um prior to now for some years i was um, partaking in same-sex relationships y'all so um yeah the uh, me and women yep it was it was going down it was what it was all right so yeah that's how everything happened that's how the cookie crumbled for some of you just now but it is what it is so um in that over this last year i've been diving deeper into my relationship with god and have basically stepped away from that completely like said no more to that lifestyle for me personally um so that post personally is my life right now that's something i'm actually living out at the moment um so my thoughts when it comes down to it i think the post honestly is amazing i think it's awesome because if you want me to be honest the the fact that they're offering help to people who are going through this transition is everything because you're until you're in that position where you're trying to slay that demon and now at that point you're having to deal with the other stuff that is within you things that you didn't know was there when what because i'm gonna be honest at one point in time when i used to look at my life i used to think that that was really the only thing that was wrong but then after 
me or not even necessarily that was wrong but the only thing that was or that I needed to submit to God that's the best way to put it that I thought that was the only thing I needed to submit to God but after submitting that I realized that there was so much more within me and that was only a big branch of what the other things that are rooted in me that I have to allow God to really get to the root of to pull out of me so that I am at that point fertile soil which I feel like I'm becoming day in and day out at this point and so seeing that post it it really it made me so happy it made me elated because I'm like they're they're finally making it be known that hey this is a hard transition and that people need help through this transition they need people praying with them they need people intercessing on their behalf and praying on their behalf because they maybe feel like they can't pray for themselves or it's just not enough by yourself so to see that and to know that there's somebody there helping is awesome i think it's amazing but here's the thing the way that i came across this post was in a negative light um so i seen the post i, I seen people basically comment commenting on it and how they were feeling like it was homophobic and how they feel like it's promoting hatred and all of this and it hurt because i'm looking at it and i'm like well when i look at it i don't see that me being a person who's actually in this situation and who would actually benefit from something like this i don't see how it's promoting homophobia or um hatred or anything of that nature and so i wanted to come and create this or talk about it in this video because really in all honesty when i first seen it i was so hurt and angry but then i had to go and i had to pray about it and i had to really come to the grips of understanding that the reason that some people maybe feel this is because of the fact that there have been other people in their life who made them feel basically terrible for them being that way or because of what they like and things of that nature so i want to go ahead and address this in this video and appeal to those who basically felt that who feel like that bethel putting this message out was just downright disrespectful was prom promoting hatred and promoting homophobia so let's go ahead and look at the hatred portion of things if anything is promoting love and they talk about love in this post numerous times at least about five times they use the word love and when you think about it they're, they're conveying God's love in there and they're saying, hey, look, we understand and we know that God loves us all. And through him loving us all and through him and through us feeling his presence, we at some point want to come into right relationship with him. Right relationship, meaning living your life in a holy way, meaning that you're no longer you're no longer consciously taking part in sin. That's what essentially what that means and deciding that you're going to live your life and allow the Holy Spirit to come into your life and lead you and guide you on a daily basis. Also, y'all, I just want to I want to make this clear too. understand that God loves us all. That's so true. But he doesn't love our sin. Like, let's just be honest. And it talks about that in the word. He loves us all, but he doesn't love our sin when it comes down to it. God wants us to be right in right relationship with us, but there are things that we got to sacrifice along the way. And that's just that. That's just that on that, baby. Saying no to your sin, dying to your flesh daily and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. That is what they're talking about in that regard. Now, that's not coming at just people who are part of the LG or LBGTQ plus community. But that's also talking about others who are doing other things that are unholy and who are doing things that they should not be doing or that is not pleasing to God. Now, getting deeper into the point. What I'm saying here is this, is that if anything, they're saying, hey, we're going to help you and pray with you and do whatever we can to help you through this transition for those who are going through that transition. Now, if there are people who are looking at this post and they're not in that position where they're going through a transition, but they're still in the lifestyle and everything of that nature, just because you're not at the transition point yet doesn't mean that you should push your idea or push your your anger onto someone who or onto Bethel for providing that helpful hand or that resource that is needed when going through this transition. One thing I want to bring to you guys is that when it comes to sin, when it comes to us saying no and actually dying to our flesh, that is a daily fight. Anyone who knows anything concerning 
fighting the the spirit and the flesh fighting we already know in the, in the word it says that the two can't be there together so you have to choose one or the other so understand that when you're saying no to your sin at that point and you're fighting these demons that it's not easy like i'm talking like let's be honest i've had times where i've been up late at night crying about this i've had dreams about this and i'm trying to fight these desires and things of that nature that's not an easy thing to do on a day-to-day -day basis let's just be honest so having someone who wants to be there with you and to pray with you and to intercede on your behalf is everything it's it's amazing to have that but for that person to also still love you in that process they're not expecting you to be perfect in that because they understand that you are fighting something but that does not mean you should use that as a crutch either just saying so okay that's one thing secondly talking about homophobia just because they're saying that they will be there and provide a place for you to be able to come and talk about what Whatever it is that you're going through so that you can get through whatever it is that does not mean that they're saying or creating a conversion therapy that's not at all what it is it's simply just people being there for you so that you can talk and have somebody to pray with you and pray for you when you're trying to fight through these desires so let me talk about this a lot of people feel like when it comes down to homosexuality and going into right relationship with God, that automatically means that you become a heterosexual. Let's be honest about this thing, sis. Let's be honest about this thing, bro. When I decided that I was going to give my life to Christ, that did not mean that I was saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go lay with a man. That did not mean any of that. Because let's be honest, I was completely scared when it came to that. Kayla knows that. Me and Kayla have had countless, countless conversations concerning that particular ordeal. No, what it meant for me was simply... I'm focusing my relationship on God and that's exactly what it is. When you give your life to Christ, you're focusing on you and God, not you, God, and another person is if you're not married. Now, if, if you are married, then yes, it's you, God, and your mate. But if you're not married, you need to be focusing on you and God and what God is trying to do to you and through you so that you can actually go out here and be a light and be able to bring others to Christ. That's what this whole thing is about. And a lot of us got it so misconstrued. Let's just be honest about this thing there's a woman named jackie hill perry if you read her book gay girl good god it talks about this and it dives deep into this because we have the whole rhetoric mixed up so what i'm saying to you is this when you decide to go into right relationship with god like i said it's a it's a focus between you and god that's that's the main focus point is you keeping your eyes on god so that you're able to fulfill whatever purpose he has called you to fulfill here on earth and it's simple as that it's not synonymous with becoming heterosexual however i do not want it to get misconstrued excuse me when you go into right relationship with god what you also have to understand is this your desires are going to start to change it's 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 inevitable. It's going to happen. Even when you're not in right relationship with God, your desires are still going to change over time. Like, I don't, I don't understand why. I don't understand why we make it seem as if when we're not with God, oh, we're always the same. We G, we 100. But do you not mature over time? I'm just understanding. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So that's another thing. Secondly, don't you think it's kind of selfish for you to or not necessarily you, but don't you think it's selfish to try to make Bethel look bad to a person who may be actually trying to go through that transition? Now they're not even going to want to go through it because of you feeling what you feel and it conveying and messing with their thoughts to where it's like, you know what, on second thought, maybe I don't need to do that. When God has been working on their heart for a while, has been watering the seed for a while, do you know how many people you may be turning away from Christ because of what you think and what you feel? You don't know who may be looking on your timeline at the different things that you're saying and the different comments the comments that you're making you don't know who you could be talking away or talking to the ledge because of what you feel it's just don't be selfish y'all again and i, I just want to make this very clear because i'm gonna go ahead and get right i'm gonna get ready to end this video this post for those who are not in that transitional error is not about you it is not for you it is for those who are transitioning from that lifestyle and who are going into right relationship with christ but they want to lay that down that's their sacrifice that's where they're deciding to let go so just because you're not there and that's not what you're giving up that does not mean that you should come at bethel and be like look y'all are doing this 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 and this y'all are showing hatred y'all are showing this y'all are showing that just because you're not in that place that's not fair do you not and you want to and you want to be able to sit there and talk about your rights and you want to sit there and talk about how 
this should be this way and this should be that way. But when a person who believes in God stands up and talks about their truth as far as what they believe when it comes to God, you feel like somebody's automatically coming at you. Get it together. You got to choose an offense. Choose one. No, choose none. Choose none. How about that? Understand when it comes to reading the word, it's, it's meant to hit your heart. It's meant to hurt. It's meant to hit deep. It, it, it's meant to hit different because it's hitting your particular situation and bringing the light to the darkness that's within you. And you want to try to run and hide behind the fence and talk about how this did this to you and this did that to you. It's not about you. That post wasn't even for you. So calm down. It's not like it wasn't for you. It's not meant for you to receive at this time. We Even in the word, it talks about how the word is received in different seasons. It's not your season to receive that word yet. It's not that it's not your season for you to even receive that just yet. Not saying that you can't because you certainly can. And I pray that you come to that point, because honestly, when it comes down to it, nothing is greater than living life with God. Nothing is greater than that. Nothing, nothing. You can't pay me anything to give up my relationship with God. You can't you can't put the finest piece of nothing in my face. To, for me to give up my relationship with God. You just can't. So yeah, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. But look, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. And if I offend you, I apologize. If, if me, well, I don't even really apologize. Because I, I meant what I said. But what I'm saying is this. I'm not trying to intentionally hurt you. But what I'm trying to do is shed light on this in a different way. So that you don't continue to throw poison around because of your personal feelings and your prior experiences that's all i'm doing so hey amen say man consider this if you know me personally if we went to school together or anything of that nature we met in the past any of that and if i offended you or if you if you feel some type of way about anything i said come to me and talk to me personally man we could have a conversation we could be two adults and talk about it but this isn't meant to hurt anybody this is just shit and truth on the situation look love you guys appreciate you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful day i know this video is like 15 minutes long i do apologize but i just want to talk about this because yeah it, it hit home for me so peace so yeah man amen amen y'all make sure y'all speak a good word over everybody y'all pray for everybody be encouraging love one another help one another through and that's simply just that y'all simply put have a good one